Hi guys, welcome to this video and this is feel good tip number three for athletes. And if you're coming into this series a little bit late and you haven't read the previous videos, then I'd also get you to click on this link here to give you, this video will give you more of a kind of introduction to why feeling good is so important for sprinting fast and why athletes are not actually prioritizing that and actually hampering their results. But that video will tell you more about that. But this tip is all about good experiences. And to give you a little bit of context about this, I do a muscle activation method called Be Activated, and it's a hands-on muscle activation system that I do on athletes to drop athletes down into their relaxed state, so they're closer to their flow state, so that it basically upgrades their, their body and their muscles to perform to the, closer to their potential. But I do a muscle test on them beforehand to show them and demonstrate how the, the body follows the mind, and wherever the mind goes, the, the body follows. And I get them to think of a stand, a stand up, and get them to think of a stressful experience or a stressful person or a person they don't like. Either a stressful experience or a person they don't like. I get them to really think about it, engross themselves in their thoughts. And then I ask them to, once they've thought of that, that person, and while they're thinking about that person, to hold their, I get them to hold their hands out. I stand behind them and I ask them to hold this position because I'm going to, I pressed and I pressed down on their hands. And what I find is these, no one can really hold that that test, they really buckle, their hands will buckle and they're weak. But I then get them to think about a positive experience or an inspirational figure that elicits good thoughts, good positive thoughts, happiness, or stuff like that. Get them to think about that. And as they're thinking, get them to hold out the, uh, the arms again. I redo the test. And what I find is the overwhelming majority of people and athletes are strong when they think about that positive person. And even their actually hands are pushing up against my hands. And what this is a perfect demonstration of how the, the mind really dictates the performance of the body. And if you think about positive experiences and happiness experiences, your body is strong. If you think about stressful experiences and things that add resentment or anger or sadness, then your body is weak. So this is a great demonstration. So this tip is all about that. And it's all about thinking good experiences. And I got this tip from Andy Shaw's A Bug-Free Mind. It's a bug-free mind system. He, he made two books, Creating a Bug-Free Mind and Using a Bug-Free Mind. I really go and look up a bugfreemind.com. And it's a self-growth book, but it's a great, this great tip of actually altering and just changing the mind to more positive experiences. So giving you a force shield against the negativity and the stress of life. But what this tip is about is making a list, getting a pen and paper and making a list of happy experiences that have had. These are the really happiest times of your life. And you make a list of them one by one and you get around 10 to 15 of them. And then you think about each of those experiences for 15 seconds. You think about the first one and you go back and relive it and go back to who you're with and where you are and what you're feeling. And you go back and relive it. And you, you think about that for 15 seconds. You, once you finish with that, you go on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And think about each one for 15 seconds and make sure that that block of list takes up about 15 minutes. And what you find is that this, this gives you a force shield against the negativity, but just alters your mind to more positive thoughts. And you can do this in the morning. You should do it in the morning, but also specifically before you warm up for training, before you warm up for a competing for a race as well, just do 15 minutes. And you could almost just spend even a couple of them just as you're warming up, thinking about those good experiences will really help you. Now, if you think about this, how important this is, if you're an athlete, a sprinter at least, that gets really kind of puts pressure on the, yourself, you constantly thinking about what you have to do in the race and you're constantly putting pressure on yourself, that pressure is really hampering you. And this really hampers sprinters and athletes performance when they put pressure on themselves months and months of training can be hampered by how you're feeling and the stress you're feeling the anxiety you're feeling and the tightness you're feeling in the time of the race and it really it makes athletes delusion disillusioned but if you think about this if you use this and put your mind in and positive experiences and positive frame of mind and using this list and 15 minute list before you train before you compete then you're just not allowing that those that um, pressure to get to you you're putting your mind in a better state for you to visualize the kind of race you want and actually get yourself into the present moment as well 
So it's a kind of transition phase into the present moment to put yourself in the relaxed state. But if you can think about this block of, of, of uh, good experiences, then you're more likely to think positively and then you're more likely to think about the race you actually desire to have and then you can go and execute it. So this is a great way of, if you're a person who gets overpowered by nerves and anxiety before a race, this is a really handy tool, not just for every day to life, but just for actually performing well. So this is just another indication of why feeling good is so important to sprinting relaxed. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Please like, please share, and I'll see you in the next video for feel good tip number four.